The Black and Fashion Council celebrates a continued array of blossoming talent this season for New York Fashion Week in partnership with IMG. A passionate endeavor by co-founders Sandrine Charles and Lindsay Peoples Wagner, the showroom at Spring Studios culminates in a collection of Black-owned brands that encompass women's wear, men's wear, accessories, and footwear. Hey, this is House of Ama. Edna Thompson, designer of the Affilio. My name is Whitney Michelle, and I'm a designer of Michelle Men. I am the founder and creative director of Yas. In fashion, inspiration brings each design to life. I design for myself in a way, or well, the person that identifies with being eclectic, mixing and matching old and new, and but who also loves timeless silhouettes and pops of color. Um, so my process very much so looks at me as a, as a canvas and also the woman that raised me and past time. So I love nostalgia. I love history. And all of those things mashed up into one makes Idas what it is today. This collection is inspired by The Matrix, a uh, very introspective uh, look on us as people discovering the superhero in our, the superhero in all of us. Uh, coming off of a very challenging year, I think it's very important to um, have conversations that really, um, you know, propel um, us as a community. And still coming off from a, a challenging year, I think it's important to empower those individuals, those leaders in the community, those frontline workers, because of um, the service that they've lent. So I really, in this collection, I kind of want to um, assist that individual in uh, finding their better self and ascending. Everybody has a perspective. And our perspective is telling stories that are hiding in plain sight that may not be highlighted by other people. And so we're shedding light on the Black experience and nuanced histories. It's actually a part of the American experience and a part of Americana, just like Ralph Lauren tells a story of Americana. We're telling the story of Americana from a different lens. So the inspiration behind my pieces is just really being able to make the brand feel like a modern interpretation of American menswear classics. The importance of being a Black designer shines through as a theme. It's been a time where we've had to really dig deep, you know, mm -hmm. and really focus on our roots and our origins. As a Black creative in this time, that we tell our stories um, from our own mouths. What's very important to me is to be unapologetically back and to really um, continue in amplifying those stories of people that look like myself. The current collections offer a glimpse into favorite pieces. My favorite as of now actually is this bag. Um, it's actually a collaboration with the brand The Tie Bar and it will be available this March on the Tie Bar's website and in their stores. And of course, it's just using my classic monogram design that I just love the idea of something feeling very powerful, but also being very minimal. It's signature bag, the banana boat. This is my favorite piece from the collection, actually. We'll be introducing um, three uh, other sizes later on this year, along with textures and uh, fabrication. The mini Shia. This bag is just actually our, our biggest seller. Um, this guy was designed in 2017. It first came out as an original size, which was larger, which was this size. Um, and then a few years later, we decided to make it a mini form because everyone loves a mini. And that's how this came alive. So it's really a favorite. The Black and Fashion Council Discovery Showroom is an immense look into Black designers in not only amplifying their art, but also to represent their presence in the fashion world. Reporting for Bronxnet, Cody on Yuka.